You, Quinto? The one and only. A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa! I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep clear of the cage. Right? First you use threat to extort coin, and now you want to scheme with my prisoner. Not a chance. What did he do to step on your toes? Ours? Not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. Put a tidy price on his head, they did. And as Master Hands of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You, or the bankers. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And just as I said, clamp it shut. Stop interrupting. Where was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. But I have a special rate for you. You fleece me. Now it's my turn. Buy him out? Pretty pedestrian. How about we play a round of cards for Quinto's freedom? Hmm. Why not? But lose and the price on his head'll double. You in? I'm game. Got my fingers crossed. Pass for me too. Let's total it up. I win. Heavy-handed hands. The Tretagor maneuver. With cards like that. Now, <sighs> get him out of here before I fucking burst her. What? How did you... Fishbone. Did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out. Witcher showed up before I could. Let that be my recommendation. Now, do tell. What's it you need me for? Need you to open something for me. Something bigger than a cage. Sounds interesting. Dying to hear the details. Herbalist's hut near Oxenford. Knock on the door. Ask for yarrow extract. Anyone in there? Blood. Hmm. This does not look good. Good day. Fish biting? Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys at the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Here. Wait for the signal, and mum's the word, understood? Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. You're back! You met Poppy? She ought to stop talking any day now. Venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. I've not seen hiding or hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. Dubious worse. 
I'm all ears. Uh, you know how he wooed a lass studying natural history? Asked her about the habits of trolls. <laughs> you know where he went with the cook from the Passiflora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which is just now being repaired. Made us stare for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones. Tried to pass it off as a romantic outing. I don't know about human woman, but that would bore a dwarven last to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Actually, truly in love. Oh, yes. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Saw burning pyres when I arrived in Novigrad. Yes. Felicia Corey, a source of this, that was. The crowd came for the other bun that day. A Doppler. Crafty wee bugger who'd spent years masquerading as Chappelle, commander of the Temple Guard. It was Caleb Menge who exposed him, executed him, and promptly took his post. Met that Doppler years ago, just after he'd assumed Chappelle's identity and form. Wasn't all that surprised when the Church of the Eternal Fire turned Toller into freaks, opened up a bit to magic and mages. Ah, well, that's all changed now. Every mage who came here seeking refuge is now caught in a trap. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt. You don't mind. Round of Gwent? I never refuse. Let's play. Seems I won. A right fucking shock given your frankly amateur deck. Here, take this card. You need it. You can do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing me shame at the dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Greetings. You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Nelf Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa, dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said And that... this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. You're using me. Don't like it one bit. And I don't like lacy frills and Redanian novels, but you don't hear me complaining. Now follow me. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. 
there's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one to get hurt. Now on guard. Ow! Ow! Stop! I yield! You alright? The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. How'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. Shit. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... Oh, we would send the world ourselves. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For forgive me, me lady. I... I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low, and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Kobe. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now, and take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt, and good luck on the path. What happened? Islanders from Skellige. They've taken over crippled Kate's. How's that? Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loot. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world. Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skellige. That wrath of yours didn't do squat against the Ice Giant. My sword was more effective. Wait, you're Geralt of Rivia, the one who went to Undvik with Young on Crete? In the flesh. Ah, that's another kettle of fish. When a friend asks, a Skellige never refuses. Gents, our time's come. Geralt, the giant slayer's got need of this inn. Thanks so much. Could not have managed on our own. We're not rich, but I hope this is enough. Keep it. You did more than I do. Thank you. It's folk like you restore my faith in humankind. Witcher, Witcher. Kareem, look who's come. Huh. Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him, or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, 
but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? 
there's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Permit me to introduce uh, uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Calaneta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven? What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a floor at once. I need to wait the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan, but what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. I'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. <laughs>